nine crop circle timeline and at a glance guide to circular history prehistory according to speculation based on geometrical and symbolic similarities some believe crop circles appeared in ancient times inspiring rock art and building of stone circles on the places of their arrival 1600 to 1900 1678 the mowing devil pamphlet is published telling of circles appearing in Hertfordshire field and of demonic events surrounding them 1686 in his book the natural history of Staffordshire, Sir Robert Plot writes uh, of unusual flattened circles <coughs> in local grassland and postulates on mechanisms that might have produced them. 1871, when William Loosley finds a circular impression in grass and weeds after seeing strange lights at High Wycombe, Buckinghamshire. 1900 to 1980. 1900 to, eight, 1900 to 18. Six rings in a row are reported at Tillshad, Wiltshire. At least two other circles are reported in this period, one in Wiltshire, another in Kent. 1920. The first U.S. crop circle is recorded in grass at Mount Pleasant, Indiana. 1920s to 50s. Various remembrances of formations are recorded across the U.K., and occasionally other countries, mostly single circles or rings, though a triangle is documented in 1930s Yorkshire. 1932, a ring is photographed in fields at Bow Hill near Chichester, West Sussex, as reproduced in the 1934 Sussex Notes and Queries book series. 1937, a linear triplet is reported at Helion's Bumpshead, Essex. Its appearance with the second is, seconds is witnessed. 1943, two simple circles are reportedly photographed near the RAF base at Tangmere, West Sussex. 1950s, the first quintuplet is recorded at Haytesbury, Wiltshire. 1950s to 70s, various reports of simple formations are documented in the UK and around the world in countries such as the USA, France, and Canada. 1960, a linear triplet with connecting paths is found at Cheesefoot Head, Hampshire. 1966. Crop circles are photographed in reed beds at Tully, Queensland, Australia, leading to a spate of Australian UFO nest reports. 1972. UFO researchers Arthur Shuttlewood and Bryce Bond claim to witness a crop circle forming at Star Hill near Warming Star. Other formations are reported in the area. 1975, the first triangular triplet is discovered near Stonehenge. 1978, the second recorded quintuplet appears at Headburn Worthy Hampshire, while the first officially reported linear triplet is found at Cheesefoot Head, Hampshire.
but see 1937 and 1960 entries, 1980-1988, 1980s, sightings substantially increase and more complexity develops. The first serious investigations are carried out by meteorologists such as Dr. Terence Madden and individual enthusiasts like Pat Delgado and Colin Andrews. Media interest in the phenomenon begins to grow after a 1981 triplet. 1984, labor politician Dennis Healy very publicly photographs a quintuplet near his home at Alfriston, East Sussex. 1986, the first Celtic cross is discovered at the Longwood Estate, Hampshire. 1987, the first recorded circle with a radial lay is found at Cheesefoot Head. Late 1980s, the UK Ministry of Defence reportedly conducts investigations into crop circles and concludes that they are not a man-made phenomenon. 1989, Vivian and Gary Tomlinson claim to have crop circle appear around them as they walk through fields near their home in Surrey, although not reported until 1990. The first crop circle book, Circular Evidence, by Pat Delgado and Colin Andrews, becomes an unexpected bestseller and raises the phenomenon's profile enormously. Operation White Crow is conducted by Andrews and Delgado at Cheesefoot Head, Hampshire, the first serious circle surveillance operation. No formation is filmed, but anomalous events are claimed. A quartered lay, quartered lay circles is found at Winterbourne Stoke, Wiltshire, with crop brushed in straight lines confusing weather theorists and providing an omen of more complex events to follow. 1990, the Center for Crop Circle Studies, CCCS, is launched and initializes its journal, The Circular. Other investigative outfits develop, such as the Beckhampton Group, which meets at Wagon and Horses near Abbeybury. The first of the complex pictograms arrives at Chilcombe, Hampshire, to wide astonishment. The new evolution blossoms with large pictograms around Alton Barnes, Wiltshire. Huge media attention sparks international interest and more formations are found in other countries. Delgado and Andrews Operation Blackbird surveillance exercise broadcast on BBC One is thwarted by the arrival of an apparently hoaxed design discrediting the enterprise. Steve Alexander takes the first clear video of a crop circle ball of light at Stanton St. Bernard, Wiltshire. The first proto prototype Glastonbury Symposium is held, an event which will be evolved into the longest running circle relating gathering. The seriologist then edited by John Mitchell as its first issue. 1991, U.S. biophysicist W.C. Levengood carries out the first definitive, definitive 
biological analysis of sulfur affected plants, finding unexplained anomalies. This leads to the eventual formation of the BLT research groups. Group CCC is publishes the crop circle enigma, the most comprehensive circular guide so far. The first insecto insectograms and whales appear, pictograms with animal-like feature. Three metal plates of almost pure gold, silver and bronze are allegedly dug from beneath a pictogram at Grasdorf in Germany, bearing the same emblem as the pattern itself. Two formations stun researchers. A huge triangular design at Barbary Castle, which will and a Mandelbrot set fractal at Equalton, Cambridgeshire, ending the era of weather theorizing in its basic form. A strange ancient script like formation appears at Milk Hill, Wiltshire, seemingly in response to uh, the word talk to us, tumbled into crop by a visitor by a visiting US researcher. In the autumn, two pensioners, Doug Bauer and Dave Coley, claim to have hoaxed most of the formations. Worldwide publicity follows and public interest in crop circle drops dramatically despite the lack of any definitive evidence. Southern Circular Research, SCR, originally the CCCS Sussex branch, holds its first meeting and its influential journal Sussex Circular appears soon after edited by this author. SCR Changing Times will go on to become the longest running circle group still active today. 1992. A series of snail designs cause controversy with their cartoon-like quality, though many feel they are genuine despite wide skepticism following the Doug and Dave claims. The Beckhampton, Beckhampton Research Group disbands amidst, amidst recrimi, recriminations and debunker infiltration. The UFO Investigation Group, CSETI, meditate on their logo at Oliver's Castle, Wiltshire, and the emblem appears as a formation the next day, a seemingly interactive effect repeatedly by other groups in subsequent years. CSETI claim to witness substantial UFO sightings over Alton Barnes the same week. A hoaxing competition sponsored by the Guardian newspaper and the seriologist is controversially held at West Wycombe, Buckinghamshire. Several teams take part, but the variable quality fails to conclusively prove debunking theories. A charm bracelet formation appears at Silvery Hill, a complex ring of esoteric symbols. U.S. skeptic Jim Shanabel claimed to have made it, but his later public recreation doesn't convince. The first mainstream UK TV documentary about the circles is broadcast as part of Channel f Channel 4's Equinox series, but is heavily based biased towards hoaxing. 
setting a trend for most TV documentaries since CCCS's project argues Argus. Project Argus releases the results of its scientific investigation, which, though inconclusive, identifies several interesting anomalies. 1993. Croppy culture grows up around the Barge pub at Honey Street, Wiltshire, where both seriological enthusiasts and debunkers gather to socialize or argue. Skeptics work hard to dissuade the faithful, even undermining the personal character of researchers through rumor spreading and printed attacks. Jim Schnabel's debunking book, Round in Circus, it, Round in Circles, is published to positive press reviews, but rejection from seriologists. A complex cross formation appears at Charlie Knoll in the East Midlands, seemingly in response to interactive experiments carried out by the local CCCS group. The first design to cross field boundaries arrives at East Kennet, Wiltshire, Wiltshire as a ring encompasses an entire key junction in three separate fields. A beautiful mandala, the first of its kind, appears at Bythons, Bython, Cambridgeshire, setting a new design trend. Subsequent arguments within CCCS and the holding of a trial to determine its origins split the ruling council, leading to resignations and rifts that undermine the effectiveness of the organization thereafter. 1994. Despite beautiful early formations, some UK newspapers declare the phenomenon dead, but public interest grows again with the appearance of some of the most amazing designs so far, including scorpion-like pictograms, unusual ovals at Barling Gap, East Sussex, caused controversy by being laid from halfway up the stem. Though unfoxable, some argue they are the works of birds despite the farmer's denials. Galaxy formations appear astronomical diagrams of stars and planetary alignments. Thought bubble formations are likened by some to being symbolic representations of Comet Shoemaker Levy 9, the fragments of which collide with Jupiter during the summer. The longest formation yet seen, almost quarter of a mile in length, is discovered at Ashbury, Oxfordshire, a web mandara at Abbeybury, Wiltshire, page 56 astonishes everyone with its beauty and execution. Pop band Wet 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 have a huge international hit with the old Trogs song Love is All Around, propelling its composer Reg Presley into the limelight. His personal passion for crop circles and UFOs thus goes public and renews media interest. W.C. Levengood publishes his article Anom Anatomical Anomalies in Crop Formation Plant in the journal Physiological Plantarum. The first piece on crop circles to appear in a scientific peer view journal. 1995. Asteroid formations. Astronomical looking charts of 
orbital rings and clustered grape shot. Peak with the remarkable missing earth design at Longwood Warren, Hampshire, a diagram of our inner solar system minus the earth, the quintuplet of quintuplets, a Celtic cross made up from four smaller quintuplets, appears at Telegraph Hill near Chisfoot Head. A predicted design of circles and rings at Feld Range, West Sussex, appears in apparent direct response to a meditation experiment carried out by members of SCR the same night. Wiltshire has a quieter ear, while countries such counties such as East and West Sussex have one of the best one of their best an unusually early harvest effectively ends the UK season at the end of July with almost no August formations. The Ministry of Agriculture Division ADAS Agricultural Development and Advisory Service announces the results of soil tests collected by CCCS on 19 formations showing unexplained imbalances in the nitrogen nitrate ratios beneath several of them. The department which carries out the test is mysteriously shut down soon after sparking dark spec speculation. The Wiltshire Crop Circle Study Group WCCSG is founded from the ashes of the Wiltshire CCCS branch and begins its journal, The Spiral, still running today. 1996. A DNA formation appears at Alton Barnes, resembling a genetic spiral. Circle makers are invited by the farmer to try to recreate it in the same field, but no one takes up the challenge. A 915 feet Julia Sept fractal of 151 circles appears opposite Stonehenge in daylight hours within 45 minutes, according to eyewitnesses who know the time frame in which it arrived. The farmer opens the field to the public and the formation becomes the most walked on record with an estimated 10,000 visitors. A triple version of the Julia set appears at Windmill Hill, Avebury, Wiltshire. 194 circles are arranged in perfect geometry of ever-increasing equilateral triang triangles, maintaining 100% accuracy across an area of many hundreds of feet. The record for the longest formation is set by several circles in a stretched path measuring around 4,100 feet in length at Edgehampton, H. Wiltshire, Wiltshire, a record still unbroken. A six-armed snowflake design is apparently videoed as it appeared at Oliver's Castle, Wiltshire. It is seen to materialize beneath glowing balls of light within seconds and the video is shown at the bars that day. Savage controversy follows ever after, some claiming it to be a special effects hoax, others defending it as genuine. 1997, a ring in glass is discovered at Senen Cove near Lands End Cornwall in January the earliest annual UK sighting on record. 
of Kabbalah, or three tree of life, appears as a formation in the oil seed rape at Bardirok down Wiltshire, and is seen as a sim significant symbolic development by some. A hexagon fractal snowflake. The first recorded hexagon appears ne next to Stonehenge on precisely the same spot as the previous year's Julius set, but this time the farmer refuses entry to the public. An increase of formations around the world is recorded, reported, with Germany and the Netherlands in particular producing notable designs. Three elaborate triangular edged cock fractals appear in Wiltshire at Silbury Hill, Milk Hill, and Pakem Hill. U.S. surveyors estimate over a week's work would be needed to manually reconstruct Milk Hill version if operating at night. A grid of 780 small boxes at Edgehill-Hampton becomes the first of several formations to directly reference the ancient time cycle of the Maya and other global cultures, which ends and begins again on 21st of December 2012. 1998, a Beltane wheel formation appears on 4th of May next to the West Kemet Long Barrow, comprising 33 ingenious tongues of flame, three of the most sophisticated pentagram designs yet seen arrive. Two at Beckhampton, Wiltshire, and another at Bradford, Buckinghamshire. The first ever sevenfold geometry patterns is discovered at Danebury, Hillfort, Hampshire, followed by two more extravagant entries in Wiltshire. The second sevenfold pattern at Alton Barnes sets the records for the largest single expanse of flattened crop yet found in one component of a formation. More than 6,000 square meters, strange larval motifs, and several other creature designs recalling the insectograms of the early 90s appear in Wiltshire, a car motif created by the circle makers team for a Mitsubishi advert reputedly takes two days to construct in daylight hours. There is a burst of press and TV activity investigating and making crop circles. Reanalysis of the 1994 galaxy formations by my astronomer Jack Sullivan reveals them to be clear predictions of a planetary alignment due to occur in the constellation Cetus on 6th of April 2000.